All right, thank you so much, Chesley. Well, there have been more than 300 deaths on Georgia's roadways so far this year now. The state has run numerous campaigns urging drivers and passengers to use their seatbelts. Now, Georgia law doesn't require most back seat passengers to buckle up. It's got us asking why. Here's 11 Alive's Why Guy, Jerry Carnes. It's a topic that involves some very disturbing facts about death. We hate to talk about it, but it's important. The U.S. Department of Transportation says seatbelts saved more than 14,000 lives nationwide in 2016. More than 10,000 people who weren't wearing seatbelts died in car accidents that year. Here in Georgia and in 21 other states, you have to buckle up in the front seat of the car, but not in the back seat. Not if you're over 17. I, I just never think about it in the back seat. Never in the back seat. Crash tests show what can happen to backseat passengers who aren't restrained. So why isn't it required for everyone? For the answer, we look at Georgia's history with seatbelt laws. It took years and pressure from the federal government for the legislature to pass a law requiring pickup truck drivers to strap in. That didn't happen until 2010. Since then, seatbelt laws have taken a backseat. People say, look, I'm willing to risk my injury, I don't want you telling me what to do. There's also that false sense of security with backseat passengers. The unrestrained drivers either hit the back of the seat, crush it, and then hurt the driver from rear impact. Two people who helped shape Georgia's seatbelt law say many, particularly in the rural areas of the state, are against stricter seatbelt laws. The governor's office of highway safety tells us drivers haven't pushed for more change. The head of that agency does say it's something worth considering down the road. You didn't know, know, huh? No, I, I thought everybody in the car had to have a seat belt. It's a head scratcher. Yeah. We push so yeah. hard and enforce the seat belts in the front seat. What's the difference in the back seat? You could still be ejected from that vehicle yeah. Yeah. or yeah. cause harm to someone in the front seat. Yeah. yeah. Buckle up. But the risk for injury goes up way more when you sit in the front, correct? Uh, ab absolutely. Yeah. But I mean, if you're in a rollover crash, again, that oh, yeah. that risk of being ejected right. from that vehicle. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Even when you, like you were just mentioning in an Uber, yeah. a lot Ubers, of folks. Ubers, New York City cabs, cabs generally, I think people, when they get in the back seat, it's like, yeah, I don't put the seat belt on. Yeah. Hmm. Sometimes it's a short drive and a, and a, and a um, it's, not a, it's not a speedy it. drive often when right. you're in city bound. Boundaries, but uh, Every yeah, time. It's not required, but we should. We yeah. should always buckle up. Yeah. If you have a tip for the Why Guy, email him at whyguy at 11alive.com or visit the Why Guy 11alive Facebook page.